good early morning. I'm trying to keep myself from rubbing this eye. But it's the middle of the night. And once I get something on my mind, I, I can't quite go back to sleep until I get it out. So this is what's on my mind. I've told you guys before that back in, well, I used to, before January, when I started this new job, before that, I used to manage the morgue over at the hospital, the biggest hospital in Reno, renowned regional medical center. Okay, fight the good fight. It's all fake. It's all for show. Anyways, I managed the morgue before 2020 started, and I managed the morgue all through 2020 when this whole pandemic was supposed to kill everybody, right? Let me t explain to you the numbers that I was talking about, and I'll give you the links to the website that I'm looking at, and there's several, but I'll just, I'll give you the ones that I'm, I'm using for tonight, all right? There's a statista.com, it's S-T-A-T-I-S-T-A.com, and... What's the other one? The other one's actually cdc.gov. So in statista.com, if you search deaths by all causes in the U.S., we'll just stick to the U.S. for now, just because you go to the world, it, it gets you know, too broad. Deaths by all causes in the U.S. from 1950 to 2018, okay? Okay. And this is deaths per 100,000 resident population. So for every 100,000 people, this is how many deaths in that year. And it'll give you a list of the, all these years starting from 19, well, technically 1950 if you keep going down. But um, I only got as far as 1970 and every year listed up to 2018. Let's put a pin in that right now, okay? I also could not find on this website any of these similar numbers or statistics for 2019, 2020, or even 2021. Still early in the year. Why is that? Where's that information? Why did we stop following that trend? Okay, so I'll look somewhere else. I searched several other websites and I found the consensus of three different websites agree with basically www.cdc.gov. They said per 100,000 people population in 2020 from January to December, the estimated 2020 age adjusted health death rate increased for the first time since 2017 oh my god increase of 15.9 percent compared with 2019 from 715.2 per 100,000 people for every 100,000 people 715.2 people died in 2019 in 2020 it went up to 828.7 people for every 100,000 people in the U.S. Okay, it went up on average about 100 people, a little less, more like 90 people per every 100,000 people. Now, that's every kind of cause of death. This is just not COVID, okay? Let's back up. In 2018... Well, let's just stick to the, the average numbers. 200, 723, 2017 was 731, 2016 was 728, and it stays in the 700s until 2000, uh, 2006. There was 791 people um, with all causes of death for every 100,000 people now. Here's where it gets interesting. 2005, 2004, 2003, 2002, 2001, and 2000. The average number of deaths out of every 100,000 people. 
813, 843, 855, 858, 869. What pandemic were we going through during that time? Where, where were all the vaccines during that time? Why weren't we wearing masks during that time? What was happening? Oh, it gets better. Let's look at 1995 and 1990. 909 people for every 100,000 people in the U.S. Causes of death of all causes, on average, 1990, 938. What was killing everybody then? 2020 was only 800 and, let's see, what's that number again, CDC? 828 people for every 100,000 people due to COVID. That's the number that threw us into lockdowns, job losses, n families being torn apart, masks, vaccines. It gets better. You want to hear the next one? In 1980, for every 100,000 people in the U.S., 1,039 deaths. For 1970, for every 100,000 people in the U.S., there were 1,222 deaths. Holy shit, maybe that was a black plague. 1960. You ready for this? 1,339 people for every 100,000 people in the U.S. Causes of death of all causes. I can't, you can't even see the screen. Still, we're still on Statista.com. 1950. For every 100,000 people in the U.S., all causes of death, 1,446 people were dying. So 1,446 people dying for every 100,000 people in the U.S. And we're being thrown into total tyranny and totalitarianism for 828 people. I am a person who looks at the facts. I take different facts from different areas and I add it up to try to make the big picture as, as much as I can to make sense. This is not making sense. Somebody explain it to me. 828 as opposed to 1446 what were we doing in the 50s why why were we not banning things and and locking people down and doing that holy shit what was killing everybody back then wars maybe in the US in american soil all causes of death oh well we didn't have medicine advanced like they did back then no we didn't but our medicine's not very advanced right now either is it we got more side effects and more unhealthy people in the u.s now than we did back in the 50s obesity and diabetes is at an all-time high i know i'm one of those statistics so somebody tell me tell me exactly how 828 deaths for every 100,000 people of all causes of death is a reason to put everybody out of work. If you want to know why I'm up in the middle of the night tonight, it's because I'm thinking about what's going to happen when they finally come to our jobs and say that everybody is required to have the vaccine. If you don't have that little multi-pass, right, Faith? Sister Faith put up a little multi-pass. Lilo Dallas multi-pass. You don't think that's preemptive programming? You don't think that's our future? That is our future. We will be required to carry around our multi-passes that show that we have taken the shot and have the vaccine. And if you don't have it, 
You cannot go buy food. You cannot get power. You cannot get water. You cannot pay rent. You cannot work a job to support yourself. And that's what's keeping me up in the middle of the night tonight. What kind of future are we going into? Am I going to be able to retire someday comfortably? Or am I going to be part of a totalitarian, totalitarianism society? A society that's addicted to cell phones because the dopamine that social media gives everybody is so addicting? Is anyone else not as worried as I am? Or am I just overthinking this? I'm looking at the numbers. I've always looked at the numbers. And even when I worked at the morgue and I did not see the numbers go up, I was looking at the numbers wondering, what curve? Oh, we're going to flatten the curve. What curve? There was no curve. The deaths went, eh, nothing happened. And nothing is still happening. I still work in the death industry. People keep at coming in to do arrangements for their loved one who died of cancer. And they're like, oh, you must be really busy right now with, with this pandemic going on. And my, <laughs> the only time I answered them, I said the only pandemic is in everybody's mind. And she laughed and went on her way and didn't, probably didn't think about me anymore that day. But the bottom line is, look at the numbers. They can't create the numbers on their own, so they create this narrative with fear. And they are going to push the vaccine on everybody one way or another. What are we going to do? Are you just going to break and take it? So you can pay your mortgage. This is what I'm thinking about. Are you just going to break and take it? So you can go to the movies? Here's another thing that does not add up with me. We're supposedly in a horrible pandemic that's killing people everywhere. Everybody's dying because of this pandemic. But businesses like the casinos that make money for their governor, wide open still. I get that those are jobs. And our governor likes to lean on the narrative that we're trying to keep jobs open for the citizens. What he means is those people that obey and get their vaccine, they get to work in the casino. They get to attend the big crowded events like hot August nights, street vibrations. What events do you have in your city? Is Mardi Gras canceled down in Louisiana? I bet you their governor is not going to cancel that. A spring break, a Italian festival out here. There are thousands of people. Oh, Burning Man. Who hasn't heard of Burning Man out in the middle of a nowhere desert? Yeah. That generates millions of dollars. I wonder if that's going to get canceled. Not when the, uh, when the governor sees how much money that brings in, he'll find a way to make it safe. He'll find a way to... Put that mandate to the side just until we get paid for it. Come on. Look at the facts. If it walks like a duck, sounds like a duck, probably not a chicken. Just saying. Anyways, I'm sorry if I seem doom and gloom, but I wanted to show you the numbers, and I will post the link that I've been looking at these on. I'll... I, I don't know how I'm going to get it off my tablet to the computer, but I'll find a way. I don't know if I'll sleep any better tonight knowing that I've talked about it. I don't know if I'm asking anybody to prove me wrong. I just, I don't think I care. I think I'm just hoping that I'm not the only one standing at that borderline someday 
between taking that shot, breaking and taking. Are you going to break and take? I'm not going to break and take. I guess I'm just worried that I'm going to be standing by myself when it's time to break and take. Because I'm not going to take that. I know some of you are not. I know some of you are like me. I'd rather be living a free woman than, what is the phrase? It's so late, I'm so tired. I would rather die a free woman than live as a slave on my knees. There's no way. I'm not going to adhere just because the masses are doing it. Sorry, I was never a girl to try to fit in with anybody. And that's not going to change at 45. <laughs> Anyways. I hope the message will prompt you to find the numbers yourself. It's hard because everything on the internet is now programmed to feed you the false information. And YouTube, if you want to strike me for a week for medical misinformation... Anyways, I don't need YouTube. If I disappear for a while, my email's in my, my profile. Email me. I'm doing okay. I love you guys. I love you guys because I want you guys to be strong. I want you guys to be smart. Be free thinkers, independent researchers, and make your own analysis on what you really see and what you really hear. Don't believe everything that they're feeding you through a tube. It's George Orwell's world coming to reality. Love each other. When I say I hope I'm not standing by myself, it's because I hope we're going to love each other enough to stand together, no matter how far apart we are. And as always, stay salty because the fighters, the feisty ones, the biters, <laughs> the fighters and biters, those are my salty army. Now, I don't want to say salty army because that belongs to somebody else. That phrase is not mine. But my saltiness is about my will to fight. I Fight the good fight. And I'm not afraid to put myself out there to do it. So you guys stay salty. Keep fighting the good fight. Take care.